Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to share with you um, how you can quickly move between tabs in your spreadsheet and uh, how you can set this up in your own. Um, right now I'm on a project and I've got a requirements and design document that was built in Microsoft Excel. However, I have about 40 tabs or worksheets within the workbook and scrolling all the way to the right or all the way to the left of e you know, to get to e the workbook that I need to modify or update at that specific point in time is a real pain. So uh, this is an easy technique that you can use on small and large spreadsheets alike, but uh, once you start to get past, oh, I don't know, I've got a pretty big monitor here. Once you start to get past about 10 or so spreadsheet or worksheet tabs, uh, and if your names are really long, it might only be five or six. Um, it's it's very difficult to move back and forth. Um, and this is a quick technique that you can use to do that. What you want to do is create a tab list uh, spreadsheet that uh, only has all of the one, the tabs and maybe a description of what those tabs are. And then what you want to do is highlight one of those tab names. Um, in this case, I've got sheet 18 here, and this is a hyperlink. And if I click on it, you'll notice that I am brought down here to sheet 18. Um, and so this sheet is way over to the right. Like I said, I've got about 40 of them. Then what I do is over in the top left-hand corner, um, this might be name or entity um, or issue, might have some sort of information like that. But what I'll do is in the top left-hand corner of every spreadsheet tab uh, or worksheet um, within the spreadsheets uh, work workbook, what I'll do is I'll go back and I will insert another um, hyperlink on this cell here. Go up to your insert ribbon, go all the way over to hyperlink over on your right. And then once you click on the hyperlink, you can actually tell it what sheet to go to. And I'm just gonna say go to cell one of sheet summary. Click on OK. You notice it does have a little link uh, look as well. If I click on it, I am brought to, uh, right back to the summary sheet. And what you just need to do is just spend a little bit of time. It doesn't take too long to go up to your insert ribbon, go to your hyperlink, and on each one of these, pick the related tab that you want to go to so that when you do click on it, um, when you are in that specific worksheet, you can click back and add the return back to the summary so that you can quickly hop between worksheets all over the place um, without having to go down to the bottom, scroll to the right, look for the specific tab, hit all page down. It's just, well, it's a real pain once you get past about 10 or so. Hopefully you can use this technique in your next uh, Excel dashboard um, for all of the different worksheet tabs that you may have in your workbook. Maybe you have something like original data, uh, archived data, chart one, pivot table two, chart five, final dashboard. You may just have lots and lots of different worksheet tabs that you ultimately need to hop around to. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to the Excel dashboard templates.com where you're going to learn other great posts and tips and tricks like this. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.